All right then, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Yusuf. Welcome to Void Train. This is currently in early access on Steam, I believe, and it is also in demo mode as part of the Steam Next Fest, which is running for the next five days or so. It's a train in the void. The title kind of sums up the whole premise. Void Train. Okay, that's it. All right, we're done. Let's go home. Nah, I'm only kidding. Let's have a closer look at this thing. Uh, not streaming Vault of the Incarnate and no ferret. I mean, I can do World of Warcraft any day of the week. The next fest is on for the next five days, and, well, this caught my attention. So, I changed my mind. Streamer's prerogative. <laughs> so, let's start with the non-obvious stuff. Start with a dive into the settings menu. So... Multiple language support. I mean, if they, if the devs intend to make this stick, I'm impressed. Bear in mind that this means pretty much remastering for every single language going. And if they're going to do voice, potentially, this, this ain't going to be cheap. I suspect it, it's just going to be English and maybe one or two other languages. We'll see where it goes. You can always test that by simply uh, changing languages mid-game. Tutorials on off, leave them on for the moment because I'm doing this as a cold playthrough. We'll see how good they ease newbies in. Display options, DLSS 2 support, in-game changes, leave that off for the moment. Screen options, full screen or windowed or windowed borderless, standard stuff there. Resolution, interestingly, I don't seem able to change that. That may be because... I have it on borderless or I have it in DirectX 12 because there is the option to go to DirectX 11 but that needs a client restart, FOV slider, horizontal FOV, small niggle. I really wish games would say whether the FOV slider is horizontal or vertical because it kind of changes what you want this number to read as a matter of personal preference. Motion blur, FPS limit, V-Sync, Interestingly, FPS limit is not a freefall. You can have it as off 30, 60, 90, 120, and then it gives out. So the 144 plus crowd will simply have to make do. Tough. Brightness slider, and then onto graphics. Yes, I like having the separate options, low, medium, epic, high for everything. I don't know. Again, part of me prefers having this fine granular control. Army is, you know what, sufficient to the day are the options thereof. Audio, master volume, music volume. Yes, I have got this thing down to 49% and 49%. So the volume's down, music's down at one quarter anyway. And it's kind of like. Jules Verne's, I believe he called it To the Moon. Yes, quite possibly. However, if you crank the volume up to maximum, the music volume, well, it very swiftly becomes impressively loud. So I say cranking those two down was where I had it for personal comfort in my ears. I'm not sure where it is on the stream. Keyboard settings, A mode, hold tap, crouch A mode, all your standard stuff really. Invert, separate mouse axis inversion. I like. Don't ever touch those myself, but I like and they even have a Zerti keyboard support. A is a French layout predominantly, isn't it? Huh. I did not bother to check where the devs were based, but the simple fact they've bothered with a Zerti keyboard support is kind of... Go for it, guys. Go for it. <laughs> as well as individually rebindable keys. Little bit of a test. Can I double buy? Okay, I can double bind. Yeah, I would like it if there was a caution there. So that... Oh, my head's in the way. So that I uh, can't double bind controls. Two controls to the same button without the game saying, Are you sure you want to do that? Just flagging that as... Uh, set that back to B as default Belgium I thought but yeah absolutely Ed more uh, options being supported is unquestionably cool 
Okay, and they also have gamepad support. Again, separate access inversion, me likey. Separate sensitivity settings. Way! Definite up, up vote there. As well as all your standard stuff. So, options menu? You know what? Most of it, I'm pretty impressed. Slightly puzzled by the absence of switchable resolutions, but hey, 1440 will do for my purposes. I still think someone's going to complain about FPS, but hey, well, you go. I mean, and they've got DLSS 2.0 if you want to go for it, so. Considering that this is a relatively uh, small company, I mean, that is impressive. All right, let us take our train into the void. I have a new game. Character, oh, character customization, of course. Male or female characters. Go for it. Uh, head options. Skin tone. Wee. Yoink. Boop. And a slider as well. Young. Okay, so that's just basically altering the definition of the wrinkle layer. Hmm. I should not be taking reading too much into that. What can I say? A lifetime of um, <coughs> artificial preservatives in the diet. Uh, maybe, Ed, maybe. I mean, there's an easy way to check it and uh, set your skin tone. So, full marks for that. Yoink. Body type. Jacket. Okay, I, I would like the option to... Okay, little bit of criticism here. It's all very well to say, rake thin through to your nutritionist is banging on the door. So, again, grats for giving us that slider. I would like an option to zoom in on the jacket type. Just a small criticism, if anything, there. Um, so, what do we have? We have a kind of... Eh, I was going to say turn-of-the-century US armour layout there, but you can't really see it from this angle, which is a bit annoying. So, yeah, that's a criticism. If we could have an option to zoom in on these, or just zoom in on the camera, I mean, mouse wheel... Mouse wheel do nothing right now. Mouse wheel do nothing. So little bit, little bit of a niggle to aim there. But uh, we'll go. Actually, no. It's cold in space, so let's pull on a decent jacket and maybe some properly lined trousers as well. Pants. Americanism. Hmm. Yes, I'm British. Yes, I tend to assume that the English language is ours and. Our version is correct by default. Everyone else does it weird. Okay, um, back up there. Maybe that'll be easier to customize in game. You never know. But um, display. If I set for full screen and apply that, this may cause some funk in the uh, in the set in the stream. If coldness is a space, the radiation is a big one. Quite possibly, quite possibly. Aha, now the resolution can kick up to 4K. Right. That is... Okay, so we have a full range of resolutions. But if you go to window borderless, for some reason it locks you... Okay, let's test the theory. Let's go to full screen, 4K and full screen. This will send the stream very wonky, by the way. I will need to resize a few things because of the way OBS handles game capture. Brace for weirdness, again. Like I said, brace for weirdness. And if I now switch to borderless and set this, we'll see if it keeps the resolution. Keeps the resolution. Okay, I now have some more interesting funk on my screen, but uh, the capture isn't going to show you guys that. Give me game capture. And 
Huh, interestingly, it did resize everything else. Okay, interesting bug here, which... Um, let me just switch to display capture so I can show you what's going on from my perspective. Hold the phone a second, because I have a 4K monitor. And, yeah, right now the game capture says it's 4K. The game capture is lying through its teeth. One second. Uh, plus this up. Give me a display capture. Temporary fix on monitor there. And OK that. So yeah, that's what my monitor currently looks like at the moment. 4K. Not 4K. You can perhaps see why there. <laughs> I think we can deduce that perhaps the resolution support in full screen borderless is a teensy bit janky right now. Let's try it in windowed mode, see what happens. Oh, 1920 by 1080. And. Okay, can I ask it for 4K in window? Yep, apply that. And then attempt to maximize. Right, then attempt to send it to full screen. And again, it's trying to snap back even with an alt enter. Okay, so windowed and borderless support above 1440 is still not quite there. I think that's the simplest way of putting this. So back to full screen. Apply that. And screen jank will continue whilst I get this sorted back out. This is not normally something you deal with in the middle of a live stream. Right. Kill my display capture. So go back to just game cap. And basically delete that element from OBS. There we go. And... Hmm. Well, it still doesn't think it's in full screen. You know what? We'll just go back to borderless and go back to 1440. And... Well, now it's sort of okay. Yeah. Nope, now it's just having a very bad day on my monitor, even if the game capture is now behaving itself. Ah, the hell with it, I'll, uh, I can manage without. Right, new game, let's actually do something. Sometimes the spirit of adventure beckons so much, it's pointless to resist it. Some people find enough courage to get on a train and head off into outer space. Okay. Mm, no. Also no. Wrong again. <laughs> These are all wrong stories. Ah, there it is. The forest. This train was passing through impenetrable dense forest. However, that was not an aimless journey, but a long way up here. Right into the heart of the endless snowy nowhere. A perfect place for those who prefer tranquility. Silence. And minus 45 degrees outside the window. <sighs> Told you we need to wrap up warm. Palace of Silence. The engineer. He'll be here on watch duty for many long and cold months. Until the next lucky guy strides in to replace him. If one comes through at all, of course. But there's no need to feel sorry for him. Although the terrain is wild, there's plenty to see and do oh. around here. Especially if you're curious enough. Fortunately for my story, engineers are almost always inquisitive and attentive. These people notice things that elude the average person. Look closely. Look closely. And everything would have been fine in this adventure if the blizzard had not started at the wrong time. <laughs> the chilly wind blew the engineer off the trail, which he immediately lost sight of. His fingers instantly turned into ice like everything else around him. The last hope of salvation, a map of the terrain, treacherously slipped out of his hands. 
Luckily, the video's timing didn't allow the engineer to suffer for long. All of a sudden, in the middle of snowy nowhere, it appeared. A door to... Where to, by the way? The building didn't seem to be on the engineer's maps. Didn't the maps just blow off? Uh-oh. Anybody home? This is how it all usually starts. In okay. that strange hut, there was nothing. No people, no warmth, only darkness. And a hook. Hmm. And I have control. Right, turn on the light. This seems like an excellent idea. Where is the light switch? On the right side, I can warm up. Oh, I have a fancy wristwatch. And close, hold F, thank you. Lights. Light switch should be by the door, should it not? The door remains impregnable. There is too much snow outside. Well, that's unfortunate. Oh, somebody is in fact building a, a train. Where's the light switch? Are you, a, are you a light switch? No. Should I be looking at the objective marker? Yes, I probably should. Come on. Pull! When in doubt, apply brute force. If I were you, I'd look for a key. Or something that looks like a key. Maybe just something heavy. Maybe. That is not something that's going to... Oh. That is not a key. Well, I don't think that's going to help. But it makes a very good tone. Now all we need is some tea. Aha! Hmm, a heavy blunt object. Gotta grab it. I have a hammer. And a screwdriver. And I'm missing a tool. <laughs> okay, nice touch. So it fits in better there. Right, open the fuse box. Nice animation, by the way. Crunch. I'm afraid there's nothing left to fix with a hammer. Any other ideas? Yes, I will shove my hand into a live fuse box. Apparently it's not a live fuse box. I'm this is perfectly set. Ma the magic of electrical tape. Oops. Um, yeah, we oh. <clears throat> we fixed it good. And so, my glorious hero, having passed all the hardships of his watch, finally obtains a light in order to... Hmm. To notice something strange on the table? <laughs> Push, inspect the thingy on the table. I like this game's sense of humour already. Plonk. Oh. It's come on, push harder. Oh. Okay, well that wasn't meant to happen. Can we put it back, please? Please put it. It was like this when I found it. Honest. Um. We appear to have encoded Chevron Seven. Yes, now we know what happened to all the previous engineer. Oh, ow, ow, ow! My head. My sore, breakable head. Hey, you all right? Yes. Oh, you're finally awake? Hmm. A typical day on watch, huh? No, not really. And um, what's a. Ah. 
Look, it, it may look cute and inquisitive now, but soon there'll be more of them. It'll be dark and they'll all have teeth. See, I told you there'd be more of them. Lots more of them. At least it's not dark yet. But yes, welcome to the Void Train. There's the Void. Well, That's the train. Handy. Okay, I have a... I have a horn. There is no gravity in the void. Jump off the train and head in the desired direction to move. Hold F to quickly pull up to the train on the rope. And then climb it by controlling your character. Going to surround the train gives you a bit... Okay. Well then. Jump. Ah! I have a proper safe mounting rope. This is important. And... Journal. Okay, to open the diary, press J. Okay. Um, yoink. Of course, such an inventive mind wouldn't have any trouble figuring out the mechanism of a simple trolley. Of course not. Absolutely not. Take the trolley off the brake. Hmm. And now we move. Well, pretty much. Try pulling the other lever. Okay, we have forwards. All right. We have now. backwards. Just slowly. And we have pump. Oh. That's a useful book you've picked up. Is the author some kind of scientist or inventor? Ah, match the, uh... I hope he's not too upset that we stole his train. I'm that sure he awkward. won't be. Oh. Ah, it's a little timing game. Oh, careful. Bumpy, bumpy, bump. It's in bonus areas of two. And the minus speed rate runs out of energy. Cool, figured that out. And of course, there is the break. So, in fact, I should probably. Uh, wow, this this is actually kind of pretty, isn't it? You know what? Let's come to a stop. Brakes. Because looks like there's stuff over there. Hello, little swimmy fish. Boop. Okay, resources. I have some ice. And what are you? Organics. Ah, of course. Avoiding the starvation, dying of thirst, etc. is probably going to be important. Scrap metal. Um, aha. Come on, off the train. Train has artificial gravity. This is uh, useful. And yes, someone... Up Come on. Turns out the safety tether does have a maximum distance. Which I suppose is reasonable, but it does mean that I am going to have to switch direction, release the brake, and gently glide myself back along. Ooh, times five acceleration. Wee! We pump it now, boys! does mean that you are effectively tied to the uh, the train car. Alright, there's some more stuff. Put the brakes on. Jump into the void. More scrap metal and... Safely clip. But as you say, I don't have to worry about oxygen. It's most convenient. And my... Um, My light, my safety line is not permitting me. Hopefully, I'll get to uh, have a longer safety line at some point. Right, roll it back. And aha! More useful stuff. 
Bonk. Obligatory got wood joke here. That breaks on again. There's another uh, another chunk of wood up there. Not to mention some more bits and pieces as well. So just pull him on the brakes. Okay, I have wood. I have organics. Build a research table. Okay, press B to open the build book. Deploy a research table. And... Okay. Well, that's convenient. Storage, production. Buildings won't work out, so I can expand the floor as well. Okay, that's convenient. And apparently I can... I am a very skilled carpenter, and a very quick one, also a very quick bookbinder, glass smelter, candle maker, uh, pencil sharpener, tin cut, I told you that tin cut would come in handy, and ruler crafter. Don't ask where I got the wax. Select the blueprint. I can make a smelter or a container. Right. Well, I'm going to need... Both of them, for which I'm going to, and I'm going to need smelted resources to unlock the container. So the smelter is first, for which I need more scrap metal. Oh, look. That's not scrap metal, but wood is also handy. Unfortunately, I cannot as yet. Uh, maybe if I go down, because remember, three dimensions. Three of them. Also, I was apparently dressed for 45 degrees below, so I don't know what the ambient temperature is around here, but it's clearly not an issue. Oh, and what's this? Ah, magic disappearing train track. How considerate. Oh, and, oh, that's a nice touch. And the rope goes slack and follows you. <laughs> this is an unreal engine, by the way, so, um, nice touch on the physics. I like that. It's the little things that amuse me sometimes. The disturbingly little things that amuse me sometimes. Right, okay, we are in reverse again. Take the train off the brake and go looking for more wood and more organics. Okay, hit the brakes. Off. Now let's see if organics do anything. Okay, they don't immediately solve my food problem. Meh. Oh well, probably too much to hope that that would be trivialized, but uh, bonk. Aha, more scrap metal over there. Breaks off on the pump. And break. Come on. Right, scrap metal done. That should be enough to let me research a smelter. Okay, blueprints for an iron bar and a copper bar are unlocked. Which means I can now... Hopefully, build a smelter. Build book. One smelter. I need more scrap metal. Hmm. I'm going to need space. And scrap metal. And wood. Can I get... Uh... Okay. Okay. Little bit of a fudge there. The cable has gone through some of the debris, but uh, yeah, it works out. I mean, the alternative would be having the cable snagging on stuff and limiting your range of movement. That might actually be an interesting gameplay snafu later on. For the moment, though, I need myself scrap metal. I 
need all the scrap metal, and yep, safety line has its limits. I suspect the safety line is the equivalent of a, uh, oh, sorry, of an oxygen limit, because if you think about it functionally, oxygen limits and things like Subnautica and Breath Edge are a limit on how far you can go from your safe zones. So that safety line is serving the same purpose without the ability to accidentally screw yourself over. All right, pump the trolley. And here we are, more scrap metal. You know, I probably shouldn't have gone for that joyride earlier. I've just backtracked. Okay, more wood. And more scrap metal. And maybe I need to put some extra floor space onto the train. Just to get the smelter installed. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yay, got it, right. Let's get the smelter in. Hmm. Lighting's good. Right, build options. Do, 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 do. One smelter. Craft your smelter and plonk it next to the transmission. Okay, smelt iron bar and pick it up. Create a recipe. An iron bar for which I require... Oh, look. More scrap metal. You may be detecting a theme here. Also fuel. Um, I have fat. I have wood. Sterilizer. Coal briquettes. Chunks. Sturdy wood. Okay, so that gives us a hint of some options. Just go with one wood for the moment. Might need the rest of it later. Or maybe not. Right. Okay, let's go back up for the moment. Keep an eye out for scrap metal. Drink. 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 What speed? Right, organics. Very surprised looking beasties and scrap metal. Yes, we're right back at the start. Don't question it. I should probably have cleaned this place out before I started moving. I am usual. I am smart. Honest. Okay. Yoink. And... Where was the rest? Oh yeah, raid the boxes. I cannot raid the boxes. I can, however, grab the organics. And there was some wood rent here and some scrap metal as well. There we go. That should be enough to get the iron bar crafted. Yeah, yoink. So, set recipe. Iron bar. Count one. Engage fuel supply. Count one. And create. Whoosh! Smelty, smelty, smelt. Smelt, smelt, smelt. Smelty, smelt. Yeah, very obvious similarities to Breath Edge and Subnautica. The aesthetic has definitely got more of the uh, Breath Edge about in terms of the wildly improvised tech rather than the somewhat smoother lines of Subnautica. Ice, good. Sure, it'll all come in handy. And the sense of humour is more... Well, it's it's similar to Breath Edge, but it's more refined. Dare I get artsy and accused of being postmodern? As opposed to Breath Edge is more... Um, occasionally crude humour. Research and build container one. Right, research container. Okay. There we go. And then build myself a storage container. For which I need more iron bars, for which I need more scrap metal. Okay. 
I also need to uh, satisfy hunger that even tastes like food. I might use that. Doesn't do very much. 5% food for ice. Regular wood, metal junk, but is what it is. And other items are presumably going to unlock as we get through here. Ammunition, ammunition, other kind of ammunition. Interesting ammunition. wonder what that kind of ammunition is for. Hmm. Either way, quickly uh, nom myself back up to something approach to me. You'd think the tutorial will take a moment to just say, Oh, hey, you're starving to death, by the way. All right. Speaking of which, yike! Ha! Chemical. And oh! No, 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 no! Get back here! Get back here! Get back here! Get back here! You have wood and um, chemical. Ah, there it is. Wonder what happens if I let the line go taut. Can I go void skiing on, with a train? Yes, it turns out I absolutely can go void skiing on a train. Another life's ambition is complete. Maybe. Oh, and the gravity field for the train does actually extend quite a way. Okay, keep an eye out for scrap metal. And ice and other useful stuff. In fact, there's more ice over there. Stop the train. Hmm. Okay, need to be on the train to stop it at the moment. Well, it's not a huge inconvenience. Just means you have to stand on the train to pull the brake lever. Surprisingly, you need to be braced to pull a lever. Hmm, funny that. More food. Really pretty. Do, 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 do. Right. You should have caught the movies. Yeah, but you know how it is. Tend not to eat anything if it's still moving. Although I could try. Um... Ed, for the record, that was your idea. Do, 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 do. Yes, it, yes, I killed it, but it didn't give me anything useful. Aha, coming up on more resources. On. I need scrap metal at the moment. So, wood is useful because I need that to smelt the iron, but I need scrap metal with which to smelt iron. If you follow me there. Okay. Back and round, back and round. What do we got? Hmm. Not much of use and a rather odd eclipsed. Either that is a ringed sun or it's in an eclipse phase. Hmm. Mind you, it raises the question of who built the giant train track floating through the void. A point on which I have been spectacularly uncurious until just now. Uh, that's more wood. Don't really need it right now. Bring down. Wee. All right. Forwards again. Hmm. So that's far not as free form as Breath Out Jaws of Nautica, or at least not as apparently free form as Breath Edge and Subnautica. Look at this way: you get to take the credit if they turn out to be evil later on. It'll be fine, I'm sure. There's no way we didn't just accidentally kill somebody's pet. Yoink. We boop. And oh, more chemical. And oh, that was scrap metal. Reverse. Come on. 
tighten up. Line on, line on, line on. Transmission. There was loot in that wreckage. Pretty sure there was at least one bit of scrap metal in that wreckage. Might be wrong. Uh, chemicals, chemicals, all right. Hit the brake. Let's go check this out. Wee. Right, chemicals. Need that for copper and probably other stuff later on. Of course, I'm going to need copper to power the electrical systems, aren't I? Oop. She does it, I think. Do I? Okay, we've got the chemical. Let's take another look around. I don't think we missed anything. Don't think we missed anything, but. Uh... Hmm. Yeah, it seems okay. Right. Set transmission to forward, release the brake. He said release the brake. And pump it a few times to get moving. Alright, scrap metal. We're looking for scrap metal. Scrap metal. You are not scrap metal, although you are useful. Up and back. More wood. I've got this thing like a scrap metal around here. Organics. Hmm. Okay. Keep pushing forwards. Keep your eyes open. noise. Huh. There's a weird noise coming from, I want to say, below. Ah, we appear to have hit the bottom of the world. Effectively. Because there's still slack in the cable by the looks of it. Why, why is, what is this? Should I be paranoid about the fact that this is trying to catch up to me? Is this Charles's lazy, smaller cousin? It doesn't, uh, it doesn't appear to be trying to catch up. So, um, hmm. I wonder if I can intimidate it into backing up a bit. Ah, scrap metal. Perfect. Yoink. So either it's locking me out of an older section, or... Huh. Either way, not an issue. Iron bar. Go. Right. Ah, no fuel. Need more fuel. We'll stick three in there for the moment. Okay, so fuel is consumed during the per process of smelting. And 
Okay, worth knowing. And hopefully... Ah, no, I need to build. Right, container. Yes, I need two iron bars. I have one iron bar. Hmm. I would probably be paranoid about everything. Why is there a shadow cup? Yes, I would be very paranoid about everything. Let's, um... Well, let's see if we can intimidate it into going backwards. At high speed. Come on. Hey! What are you... Well, the good news is that uh, it hasn't killed me. The bad news is I ain't going back that way. So, I have no option but forwards, or so it seems. Be like that. So I wonder if that's going to be a gameplay event. You need to be very sure you've hoovered at everything out of the zone. Or if it just insists that... Or just means that once you've hoovered everything out of the zone, it won't let you go back because there's no point in going back. Hmm. Interesting mechanic and one I cannot see an immediate uh, point to, if you follow me. Because after all, the whole uh, it is a waste of time to go here was kind of implicit in Breath Edge and Subnautica. You could always go back to an earlier area, but there was rarely much of a point unless you needed something in the base that was already there. Okay. Then again, I, I'm taking my base with me at this stage, so there's a slightly different approach. There it the excuse that you'd have in Breath Edge or Subnautica isn't there. Ah. And it does mean that they, they can sneakily unload that section from the engine and not have to worry about it occupying memory. Although I wouldn't even think that was a consideration in this day and age. Right, scrap metal. There we go. Is that enough scrap to let me get my second iron bar? Yes, it is. Good. Right. Create! Consume in the fires of industry! Or some such. You know what I mean. Okay. One iron bar. One box. And I now have adequate storage. Research and build the workbench. Hmm. I need another iron bar. I'm detecting a theme here. It's, it, you you may be noticing it as well. There is a certain requirement for scrap metal that seems to be uh, constant and ongoing. And never ending, a permanent thirst for industry and its material. Or, you know, just anything that's flashing and glowing. It's about the same thing, really, in this sort of game. Alright, yoink the brakes on, nom some more food. Most likely it's some sort of chemical agent. Yes, most likely. Uh, use. Food, 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 use. There we go, a clean and shiny piece of water. I wonder if that's going to have other uses. Right, ice. And organics. The food timer is generous, but I can't shake the fact that it does impose a quiet clock. What on earth? Hello, Dale. This, this is Void Train. Um, or at least the demo of Void Train. The Steam Next Fest is on until the 13th, and, well, this caught my eye. You can probably guess what's going on from the title. There is the Void. There is a train. And thus far, it's all fairly straightforward. I am journeying along the Void, or rather through the Void, in my train. 
and I am uh, gathering materials with which to research and build a workbench with which presumably I can craft materials to improve my train. My void train. Although technically what on earth is actually slightly inaccurate. It would be more what off earth details. Alright, off the side I go. Oh, nice touch compared to other I'm up against it. You might not have seen this already. I have a safety line, which one stops you getting completely disorientated, and two effectively functions as well. It serves the same gameplay purpose as the oxygen meter in, say, Subnautica or Breath Edge, in that it imposes a limited radius of action around a safe zone. And by limited, I mean let me get to that bit of scrap metal. You, <laughs> thank you. As I said, limited radius of action. There is also apparently a co-op mode for this, or at least they're planning to put one in. So, um, may, may pay some more to- ah, scrap metal back there, fine. Reverse the direction of travel. I said reverse transmission, there we go. Release the brake. Jump off the train. And... Yay! Scrap metal. Okay, hop back on the train. Tap the transmission and the brake. And stick another pile in the smelter. Go, go, go. Right, so that is nicely cooking. Right. And that iron bar is what I need to research the workbench. Yank. Do, 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 do. Research, research, research. There we go. Research complete. Build me a workbench. I have a smelter. I have a research table. I have a workbench. I don't know why I'm even surprised. More iron bars. Hmm. Yes, possibly, although you'd think I'd remember doing something like that. I mean, I've had some annoying Monday mornings, but I think I'd remember a weekend that ended with the Earth turning into a shattered husk and the laws of physics and atmosphere going bye-bye. More scrap metal. Off the side. Get the wood. Watch for scrap metal. Make sure I don't miss anything. Remember that there are three dimensions in this game. And the loot can be hiding behind any of them. Yeah, I'm on you. There we go. More scrap. Also remember that the safety line will go taut and pull me along. Oh, careful. Gotcha. Anywhere else? That chemical over there. So far, so good. Okay, pull the safety line in and hit the brake. Of course, we've got a lot of stuff, and I don't think I can get it all on the run or the roll, depending on your point of view here. By the ways in the what books, maybe, maybe. I mean, the idea of a passageway through the void is always an interesting one. I have to admit, I haven't read Wheel of Time in far too long. So I'm kind of hazy on it, except for the whole bit that the Ace Sedai are untrustworthy gets. For some reason, that sticks in the mind. Yoink. I don't... I suppose technically... 
Technically, they weren't the first people to come up with the idea of the Jedi truth, but there you go. Hello, Amy. Welcome, welcome. This is Void Train, and it's currently on demo in the Steam Next Fest, which is running until the 13th of February. Okay. Yank down and get some of this scrap smelted. Also, I need to uh, increase the amount of fuel I have in. Okay. Change that to wood. And we'll stick five in for the moment. Then get the iron smelting. Can I do two? Yes, I can. Multiple smelts. Nice touch. Oh, and it's an auto smelter as well. And you even get a timer telling you how long it's going to take. Spits out one. And... Spits out... What do I need to build a workbench? Ah, but that's enough. Right, I can now craft simple components. Can I slot that in? Okay, we can slot it in by the storage area. Okay, select recipe and start researching bolts. You know, I'm going to need some more space fairly shortly. Yep, complete technology stage two, which means research bolts and copper. Guess what? More scrap metal! <sighs> Off we go again. I <laughs> keep thinking world of tech. For what it's worth, it took me a half second or so to dub that connection as well. So, um, what books? I mean, there are what books. Well, there's a what book. I mean, can openers is technically a, a what book in the sense of world of tanks. But uh, yeah, I agree. It's not exactly a subject you expect to spawn its own literary genre. All right, scrap metal, and ice. Chemical, ah, wood. Always need more fuel. Chemicals. Yeah, the uh, chasey chasey thing hasn't come after us yet. I wonder if it's tied to a tech stage. Ah. Ooh, that actually hurt getting yanked into that solid object at some speed by a train. Hmm. Who'd have thought? Right. Yeah, the head of the train. Keep watching out for scrap. Ah. Having said the chasey chasey thing wasn't coming after us. The chasey chasey thing probably did come after us, and yes, there were definitely bits of stuff that I left behind there. Hmm. I wonder how procedural this game is. I wonder if I can run myself over with the train. Yoink. Oh! They made, uh... I mean, uh, you could argue Girls of Panzer is a uh, World of Tanks anime, because it basically is World of Tanks the anime, but um, what's more War Thunder? The damage model's more War Thunder, isn't it? <sighs> but I digress. Hmm, scenery is changing slightly. Ah, scrap. Gib scrap. Always gib scrap. There's more scrap. Yank. Certainly more relaxed than Subnautica or uh, Breath Edge. If you remember those, I was. You constantly had one eye on your nutrition timer, 
and your oxygen timers and whatever was trying to murder you in the immediate vicinity. Thus far, there's a distinct lack of oxygen timer or things trying to murder me in the immediate vicinity. I believe Nicholas Moran was a consultant, at least on the film. I don't know how involved he was with the original series. But, um, yeah, they, they got involved later on. I don't know how involved they were to start with. Uh, do, 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 do. Yank. Stuff. All right, stop the train. Let's see. Smelt metal. Iron. Give me, what is it, two to... Uh, two to start with, and then get some copper on the go. Right, one. And... Two. Alright, back to the research table. Okay, I can now make basic components. Huzzah! There we are. And copper components as well. Alright, for which I need, unsurprisingly, copper. Um, let's do a three. And just see what happens when this runs out of fuel. Because I don't think two wood is going to cover... Oh, was was it? Huh, I stand corrected. But, um... Yeah, we'll see. Seven, ten, five, four, three, two, one. Huh. Apparently, we had enough. Uh, we had enough, just enough wood to cover the need. Right. Complete research of copper components. And there we go. Research completed. Research and build laboratory one. I am running out of space here. Lab one. Uh, I need bolts. I need copper. Okay. To the work table then. Create some copper wire. Clunk, 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 click. And uh, create... Wait, did I need bolts or gears for this? I needed bolts. Also, I need to pick up the uh, copper wire. Right, quickly shunt up one chunk of iron because thankfully I have just enough scrap left to cover this. Good thing I didn't waste any of it, isn't there? Later, Dale. Thanks for popping by. Ah, there's the caution that something's gone wrong with the smelter which means I need to stack in a bit more wood. And done. All right. So, create some bolts. Various details will always come in handy. For instance, this one. Yoink. Four, three, two, one. Done. Okay. Grab that, grab the bolts, pop back round to the research table, and research my laboratory. I can perform science! Soon the mysteries of the void will be mine to unlock. At least once I've actually built the lab. Um. <coughs> ah, more bolts and more copper. I'm out of metal again, aren't I? <sighs> also, I should probably have some dinner. There we go. Well, that will keep the uh, hunger at bay for a bit. Right. Onwards, onwards, I say. In search of wood and random scrap floating mysteriously in the void. Has anyone left any random scrap floating mysteriously in the void? Yes, yes, they have left some random scrap floating mysteriously in the void. Unfortunately, it's not in a 
particularly convenient location. So, set the train rolling. I don't know if anyone sees me rolling or if they will in fact be hating, but uh, I dare say we're going to find out. Ah. Scrap metal, scrap metal, scrap metal. Get back here, get back, get back here. Yunk, got you. And then there was another bit over here. Grab that on the way. Um, there was another bit of scrap metal. Hang on, brakes. That looks like and is. All right, put the crane in reverse. Ah, no. Transmission. Break. And maybe a little bit, bit of a pump just to speed things up. That's what we're looking for. Yoink. Ah, well, thus far it's been very relaxing and I have the suspicion that I'm not actually out of the tutorial yet. Even if it is take... Oh. Yeah. Aha. Scrappy, scrap, scrap, scrap. I keep... I think it was the dev commentary for... It was either Half-Life 2 or Team Fortress 2 or Portal around that period where one of the devs commented that one of the hardest things to do in video games is to get people to look up. We naturally tend towards the flat perspective. Even in an environment like this one. Alright. So, I need two bolts. We'll get two shots of mine on the go. And while that's on the way, let's get back on the scrounge. Careful does it. Keep eyes open. And everything else approximately peeled. Yeah, I'm also expecting that at some point we are going to be frantically uh, pumping the handles to get away from... Oh, hey, it's you again. Hi. That thing sneaks up on you very quietly. Also, just as a test, I want to see if I can sneak past this with the uh, with the rope okay so you can sneak past it if you're off the train so you get a limited bit of grace if it suddenly uh, closes up on you like it did there hmm still haven't figured out what uh, triggers that behaviour it may well just be a you have gotten a certain distance ahead of it Therefore, it will catch up to you and not allow you back. Maybe. Or maybe it's just procedurally generating everything we need. And uh, this is just a handy way of saying, come on, forwards, keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. It won't suddenly turn out to be sinister. I'm sure of that. <coughs> All right. Transmission is forwards. Smelter is created. Check what I need for the laboratory. I need two bolts. Recipe. Bolts. Create two. Go. Huh. Auto-operating workbench, apparently. The marbles of industry, ladies and gentlemen. And I also need two more bits of stuff. In order to get the copper, in order to get the copper wire, in order to build the lab and get on to the next section. Do, 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 do. So far, so good. Swim faster. I have no idea what I am swimming through. I mean, you wouldn't think I'd be able to get purchase against, you know, void. But apparently the void is a very, 
a rather unusual substance. Or in other words, it's a game, don't think about it too hard, you'll break your brain. Speaking of breaking brains, that was me skimming along the edge of the uh, gravity pad. Well, safe zone, something. Scrap metal, and that should... And that should at least be enough to get the smelter going. But... Yoink. Yoink. And nothing else? Uh, nothing that really jumps out. Okay, drop down. Hit the brakes. Get the smelter going for Hopper. Uh, just do the two. Still husbanding resources to an extent. Which is a polite way of saying being a stingy gint. If workbench doesn't work, is it just a bench? Hmm, possibly it's a broke bench. But that is an important question. It would have to work in order to be a workbench. Or possibly something would have to work out the workbench for it to be a workbench. It was work working, but, uh, yeah. Details. Right. Down and round. Oh, no, still at the limit of what the safety line will allow. Ah! Cunningly hidden scrap. Scrap, 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 scrap. Okay. And the melt is out of fuel again. Okay, feed it up. Get it going. Um, hmm. Is there anything else that I could get from around here while the smelter's doing its stuff? Doesn't look like it, does it? Nope. Doesn't look promising at all. Wee. Don't. Alright, grab some copper. Turn copper into copper wiring. Two bits thereof. And then prepare to unlock the mysteries of science! And and public transport, yes, free. You have a valid point there. Right, two bits of copper wire. One laboratory. One laboratory mark one, it must be noted. Um, okay, now I can rotate it. Okay. And freeform placement. There we go. Laboratory crafted. On to technology stage three. Select a recipe. Unstable chemical. Hmm. I'm sure nothing could possibly go wrong by crafting unstable chemicals. Right. What do I have? Chemical components. Grease and resin requires... Ah. Speaking of which... Pop in the last of my fuel. And then create two shots of unstable chemical. Bubble, bubble, toil and trouble. Let's run the brake on a bit further. Need more wood now. On. Research in progress. Craft myself some chemical components. Unlocks blueprints for grease and resin. On the bright side, that might mean I get to uh, grease and resin. Wood plus chemical. And grease needs just unstable chemicals, which means I need to craft more chemical. Okay, get to it. I think I'm about to run out of fuel. Um, chemical. Oh, that... Wait, no, he doesn't actually grab the safety line. Ah, 
Wood. Wood. Um, all right, pull the train forwards a bit further. And then having built up some speed, immediately jam on the brake because, you know, reasons. Grab that, grab those. Aha! Scrap metal. Always need scrap metal. And organics are never bad either. Okay, pull in. Quickly nom up some more food. And a bit of ice. All the ice, in fact. Okay. Lab one requires... You require more Vespine gap. Sorry. Wood. Alright, breaks off again. Keep moving. Apparently the train must forever keep moving, lest it consume its resources and die of starvation. Onwards, like a relentless titan, it rolls. Stopping only to um, harvest everything in its path. Clear off. Okay. Ice, chems, wood. Unless I've got some stuck in the smelter. I can ah wood, convenient. Say I, I do wonder if the game is procedurally generating this stuff. The train is Galacticus. Yes, yes, the train is Gal Galacticus, and I'm sure it's a metaphor for the uh, vagaries of industry. We may be pushing that a little bit too far. Does that make track laying easier or harder? Um, well, you don't have to worry about ballast. And I somehow suspect planning permission's not an issue either. Of course, since the track isn't has this habit of disappearing, it may also be a metaphor. A metaphor what? I have no idea, but uh, you never know. I'm sure it will become clearer as we progress through the game. Or possibly it'll become even more confusing, because that's how these games go sometimes. All right, I have my chemicals. A metal four. Um, well, we have metal to the fore. We also have metal to the rear. I mean, the, those rails do appear to be made out of metal. Right. Uh, let's see. I need grease. Craft me some grease. And then, ironically enough, I need wood in order to make the resin. Oh, breaks off. Let's roll again. Yoink. Hold on. I don't know if you can hear that. Moose just picked up. The I don't think you can become untethered, Penguin. The safety line basically functions like a friendly version of the oxygen meter. So, um, you cannot become untethered. Remember, our character is a proper engineer and not some mad scientist type who messes around with unstable alien viruses. Consequently, they never ever leave without properly following their safety precautions. Honest. Oh, scrap metal. More scrap metal. Wood. I mean, I'm not complaining about a sudden bonanza of scrap metal all of a sudden, but ironically enough, I now need wood. Hmm. And we're still lacking it. Yoink. 
Right. Forwards for wood. And that's we. I mean, it's possible. It's entirely possible. We never did find out what happened to the previous engineer, after all. On the other hand, if he actually built a functioning Stargate, I must query whether or not that constitutes madness. Madness is generally less functional than that. Ah, wood. We. Oh, yes, grab the grease. Bounce off here. Gimme, 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 gimme. Thank you. Needed that. Okay, set up for construction of resin. Done. Create. Please say we have enough fuel to do this. Yep, we do. We're good. It's a bit marginal, but we're good. So grab resin, grab grease, take those over to the research table, and realize I need an iron bar. Okay, fine, 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 be like that. Craft me one iron bar. Try not to think about the sheer fuel problem I've got. I mean, it could be, but the Stargate effect was pretty convincing. Of course, if the engineer was insane, then the uh, effects he saw would be completely convincing, no matter what he saw, because any test he ran on convincingness would be through the um, shattered remnants of his mind feebly clawing at what remained of sanity, so it would pass any test he cared to set. Right. Research and build container rack one. Okay, I need iron, I need wood, I need bolts, which means I actually need two bits of iron. Which means I am probably about to run out of fuel again. And I definitely need more wood. Okay, release the brakes. So yeah, have we got wood? That is the all-important question right now. wood breaks typical you get up a decent head of speed and suddenly you have to uh slam on the brakes that's actually scrap metal isn't it oh well it's still the useful stuff uh, still no sign of the chasey chasey barrier hm. ah wood yoink okay down, grab the chemical. Can't get to the wood just yet. Okay, and down. Right. Okay, so lab. Um, don't need that. Do need to grab the iron. Check that's fine. It is right. Craft one set of. They did say bolts, didn't they? It doesn't require anything else. Just bolts. No, we're good. Workbench. Craft bolts. Three, eight. Four, three, two, one, and pick up. Of all of that into the research table, craft a container rack. Well, research the container rack. Then realize you're going to have to spend more resources to actually craft said container rack. Yep, you knew it! More iron and more stuff. Okay, and now I'm out of scrap metal as well. Release the brake. More scavenging is required. Wait, are those? Is that a giant shed? That's a structure. Ah. Huh. Um, and that appears to be another Stargate up ahead. Okay, then. That's only 
mildly concerning. It appears we do in f well, scratch the procedural hypothesis, we do in fact have a finite amount of crack to work with here. It seems that the train is merely hurtling through the void towards some uh, destination. Yes, yes. I'd noticed the anchor chain as well. At least I hope it's an anchor chain. I mean, I don't know how to speak old god, so if it's meant to be restraining something, that is potentially problematic. Okay. Let's see. What do I need to craft that container wrap? Um... Oh yes, bolts. So we'll get those on the go. There we go. And oh yes, more scrap metal. Release the brake. Need to get a bit closer to over there. There we go. It's on. Hop down here, grab that wood, have a Quick stoosh round, make sure I don't miss anything. Nope, looking good so far. No sign of the chasey chasey barrier either. <laughs> Alright. Scrap. Ice. Scrap again, so I can get another shot of iron on the go. But I don't think I have quite enough uh, wood to get going. But, oh well, we'll burn it all anyway. Oops. Alright, release the brakes. Roll a bit further forward. This is starting to look mildly ominous. You know, just a just a smidge concerning. A smidge, dare I say, terminal. Alright, one rack. Okay, need the bolts. So craft the bolts. Ah, no, craft the bolts. Commit that. Leave that to its own devices and do a quick scav run. While it's uh, on the go, he says, realizing that again everything is largely out of reach, but that's fine because the construction is finished. Bolts complete. Do my crafting book and deploy a container rack. There better be an option to move stuff at some point. Yoink. There we go. Container complete. Move any container to the rack. Okay. So pull back to here. You. Um, okay. How do you move stuff? Aha. T. No, that isn't it. All right. Settings. Uh, keyboard. Inventory, journal, tools, heavy item, crafting book, hammer. And, oh, winch on the middle mouse button. Okay. Hammer. Doesn't work. Um, tools. Not enough resources. Wooden floor buildings don't work without it. Can't use that yet. Exit. How do you move a container to the rack? You would think the process would start with the container, wouldn't you? Last train to train station. Oh yes, there have been little fishies and somethings flapping around for a while, but yes, I agree that that might sound um, a bit bigger. Hmm. Either way, our... Uh, the end of our journey most unquestionably approaches, at least for this little bit of the level. Okay, the music definitely just changed again. 
Uh, there's nothing in the container, but... Aha! Maybe that's the menu I need to be in. Ah, I can... Oh, you can rename the containers. That's useful. Um, mouse button doesn't work. Check the controls again. Settings. This might be something the tutorial could explain better. Or possibly I'm just an idiot. Alt, interact, and melee. Okay, something will try to kill me then. Good to know. I mean, they're giving me guns later on, so that is actually possibly quite important. Inventory, fire mode, alt, interact, melee. Let's try X. Nope, X is not it. F? Hmm. I say so. We can engage in good old-fashioned fisticuffs. Possibly not the best argument there. Right. Um, ah, I wonder if... Aha. Uh -huh. Hammer. There we go. Tool up. Right. Deconstruct. Relocate. Costing one wood. There we go. And exit tool mode. So hold T to bring up multi-tool mode. Switch between the book and the hammer. Of course, if you have got the hammer selected, you can just press B to bring up the book anyway. And then it automatically switches you into tool mode on top of that. So, stuff has been moved. Um, we have no mission objective at this point. I suppose the only thing left to do is to follow the track to the end. Trying not to think about the fact the brass section has woken up and been dragged out of the pub. And, you know, ominous Stargate time again. And loot the entire place dry. Yes, that's a very valid point. Loot, loot, loot the place dry. Or at least moderately dry. I'm sure the game would allow you to be an idiot and uh, leave precious resources behind. I'm sure that won't matter. Right then. Off the track again. Okay, grab wood. Grab wood. And oh, floating banners, as well as everything else. Oh, more wood. Tops. Gib, 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 gib. Yeah, this isn't ominous at all. I like the Celtic not worth. That's a nice touch. Luggage in the lug luggage rack only, yes. Unless you wish to find it chasing you with the pitter patter of tiny feet. Huh. This. This would appear to be. End of line. shiny. Oh, guess we're not going back that way. Hmm, Norse runes and Celtic not work. In particular, Triskeli. Now, what's that? Ooh. Uh-oh. Um, okay. Probably a good thing that I'm standing on the train right now. Wee! Oh, hey. Of course, I didn't expect to be greeted with balloons and fanfare, but where is everybody? Oh, huh, my safety line has stopped working. Sneak in. Well, that's rather un-British. I'd tell you what to do about it, but I have no idea. Huh. It's in German. Uh, Breitschaft, Unfallpause, Rom, 
Versa. I don't speak German. Hmm. In, out. Okay, so we have one terminal saying... So, Stramves Agung Wir is I, I think. Um, System Ashling Wir is enabled, and Sex is enabled as well. Huh. Okay, ooh, glowy crystals. Let's, um, let's go explore. Hello? Anyone? Oh. Yes, completely legitimately sneaking in. It's all Greek for me. Ah, uh, well, um... At the risk of being something of a malaka? Unfortunately, I don't speak much Greek either. Ah, handy arrows. That's nice of them. Obviously, I'm going to scavenge, scavenge around, see if there's anything we missed. Doesn't look like it. And this is just getting weirder and weirder. Pseudo-Norse runes, but Arabic numerals. And you know, what could possibly go wrong trying to jump over this gap? It'll be fine. Ah, I have a witch. Huh. Apparently safety in applies even in the void. Handy. Yes, I may have plummeted to my death a few too many times in Destiny. Yes, we are here to view the tapestries. Um, we are absolutely not here to steal the fallen Madonna of the big boobies. And definitely not the statue in which it's hidden. Ah, puzzle. Like mantle? No. I can bounce. Hmm. Okay. Ah, I see. Bounce. And. Bounce. And. Bounce. And jump to the main. This is why field of view matters. Wee, yoink. Yoink. Bonk. 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 I'm sure no one will get the wrong idea if I'm sneaking around in the vent ducts. Poor thing. Well, the goddesses of time Oops. and fate can't weave a long life path for everyone. Wait, the Hecate? Well, at least he won't be needing the revolver anymore. A reference to the kindly ones. This is turning into something of a uh, mythological smorgasbord, isn't it? But I have a gun. Hmm. Let's see. A weak secondary weapon with an infinite supply of power and ammo. Lovely. I'm sure I won't immediately Who need do you it. Who this skeleton was? Hmm. So many diagrams on the table. He's probably some kind of designer. Well, used to be. Um, I'm more concerned about the significant dent in the left-hand side of his skull, to be honest. All right. Oh, blueprints. Hmm. He left the combination of the safe right out in the open. That was a great idea. But don't ever do the same thing, okay? Unless I'm breaking into your house for some reason, in which case, please do leave the combination to the safe and any other valuable lockers in a convenient area. I got an idea. We're going to need those parts soon. For some reason, that fills me with dread. Hmm, cylinder loader. Hmm. Crunch. Oh, that reminds me, I should also... Um, nom some organics, lest I have a slight starvation. And don't stand in the superheated steam. Loot! Loot, 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 no, no, loot, no loot. No loot to be had. Hmm, 
Okay. Ah. Well, we know how to open these, don't we? Now about my brilliant Plunk. idea and the details. The console on the platform looks suspiciously similar to the device in the blueprints. It was mentioned there in the train upgrade paragraph. Really? What train upgrade paragraph? All right, expand the trolley. Ah. Expand the trolley indeed. The impetuous. An excellent name, sir. An excellent name. Not enough resources. Upgrade wagon using parts. Weak. An engineer. Truly an engineer. And now I have more space. So, release the train from the brakes. I believe the depot. This action is irreversible. All items in the depot will be destroyed. In other words, I think we looted everything here. Pretty sure we looted everything. I mean, we have the revolver. And I don't... Yeah, we should be good. It'll be fine. Hello, boo. Ah, yes, we have arrived. Now we are departing. Having robbed the place blind, I'm sure nobody will... Uh, complain about that and we have a slightly bigger train as a consequence and the warp drives on again we what just happened uh oh hello oh no we're off hmm another depot curious and new path number two. Onwards we roll, apparently. With the, uh... Ah, a bigger void beastie. Do you think it wants... Do you think it'll be friends? I, I also have a gun now. Yes, that helps. Um, alright. Pull into reverse. Engage. Check my journal. I have no quests. Hmm. Well, that all seems simple enough. Let's just back up a bit because I saw resources. And resources are always good. Yink. Yink. Train. Luckily, it didn't need much to persuade it to go away. Well, I suppose we've uh, we've answered the question whether or not the Void Beastie is friendly. Just changing again. The leech is not clever or intelligent. You can hardly call it dangerous either. Ah, so that's what it is. It's a leech. They won't do much damage, but they will slow the train down. Shoot this creature because the more that it gets stuck, the more of a penalty there is. Ah, headshots. Headshots are best shots. So. Narrator apparently knew about the leech. Hmm. Either way, they are a basic threat.
and not a particularly large one, which implies that there are going to be larger threats later on. You. Get off my train. Preempt. Yes, end the ammo. The revolver is basically your emergency backup weapon. With the implication that we are going to get less emergency, less backup weapons later on. I'm more interested in where we're going at the moment. Ah, brakes. Wood. Wood, 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 wood. Need wood. Always need wood at the moment. Yike. And this into reverse. Uh, switch direction. Re engage the brake. Hop off here. Gib, 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 gib. Yes. Yes, it did, Ed. Well spotted. One extended scavenging pass later. Okay. And um, quick transmission. Wait a second, did the train take damage? Doesn't seem to be anything I can do with the hammer. Uh, research table. Tech is currently completed. Nothing to do there. I. Wait, did the brake automatically apply when I? No, didn't seem to at least. Oh, there's another area up ahead. All right. A moment, though. Continue harvesting. By which I mean continue looting everything not nailed down. Hey. Oh, hey, that's a different leech. What are you? Debris, apparently. More wood. I should probably get some more uh, floor space onto the train. There you go. Luckily, as noted, they are rather stupid and easily dissuaded by a couple of holes. He's trying to sneak back. No, it's it's nomming on the local fishies. Void fish things. Grab onto that. Ah! That was a leech. So I have no idea what the big one was. That's not a leech. It's not much smarter than a leech by the looks of it, but uh, it's not a leech. Also, the fact that there are things that can slow the train down suggests that there is, there is going to be a situation in which we are going to need the train to be moving not slowly. I'm not suggesting that we're going to have an evil demonic spider train chasing us at any point. Somebody else did that trick. But uh, the implication is there, and this is mildly concerning. Right, get some floor space. Aha! Bonk. And bonk. Bonk and bonk. Okay. Wagon is set. Yes, either it healed. Oh, I think that's the second one. I didn't see it healing in earlier encounters. 
Okay, slow forwards again. Forwards, ever forwards. Except when I see something shiny, we need to go backwards, of course. That's um, a side issue. You know what I said about seeing something shiny and needing to go backwards? Ah, okay, the, uh, the angry buffer just turned up. Not at a good moment either. Come on. Piss off. Thank you. Hmm. So I have an angry buffer thing endlessly nudging me towards my destination. I am on I am upon the rails of fate. I may in fact not entirely be captain of my soul in this game. Or indeed my train. But it's a bigger train, and for that I am content. Ow. What the hell was... I think... Whatever it was, it just decided to get some revenge. Maybe. Ooh, shiny orb thing. That's what we saw earlier, so the tr train ride continues. No, reverse transmission. Because there's metal over there. <laughs> we Okay, it, there was wood. Look, it was still useful stuff either way. And that's all chemical. Should be okay, right. Hit the transmission. Hit the transmission. I may reposition a few things to take advantage of the extra space at some point. turboed and then you see something you want. Um, huh. Whatever the ugly was, it appears to have given up. Alright. No for a second. A couple of bolts of speed, because I saw... There we go. Far, so good. Mm. Mm. Try not to die of starvation. Keep an eye out for construction materials along the way. yet. No, nope, train looks good. Well. Ah, scrap. And scrap. Hmm. 
this is almost peaceful. Which means that either I'm doing something horribly wrong or... Ah, no you... Hi. There's a leech. Right, forwards again. You know what, let's get a bit of speed going. I am speed! I am being pulled along at high speeds. I should probably be paying attention to the music. Maybe it's just a of the fact that I just kicked every the train up into high speed. Maybe. Ah! Another track. Ooh. Another track. Others. Can you see it too? Or am I hallucinating already? No, no, or, or we both are. Make sure it's not a hallucination. Hello? It's not a hallucination. Um, can they see us? Hey! Yes, they can see us. Well, whatever. And we're done with the train. Though, it looks like there are going to be other trains in the area. And as I say, we can wishlist on Steam now. So, you know, that for two hours, that is kind of, uh, kind of impressive. Oh my word, what the hell is that? <laughs> and a dragon, yes. And a dragon and angry people trying to kill us. Lots of angry people with heavily armored trees. Is that a harpoon gun? Ha! Huh. <laughs> this looks like it could be a lot of fun. So yeah, I will be keeping an eye on this, ladies and gentlemen. That has been Void Train. I have been you and Roland. Well, we'll see how this goes. Enemy trains, puzzles in the Reed Islands. Multiplayer, as I say, the references to a co-op mode that they're focused on at the moment. And... Uh, Things are pretty impressive so far, so I will see you all around, and until next time, whenever that may be, have a good one. Farewell. It could, Ed. It could. We'll see which way it goes. I mean, seeing that this is early days, it is promising. Time will tell. Sooner or later, time will tell. And not just because you shook the hand of an Austrian corporal outside the train station. Cheerio.